With seven males and 12 females, there's a lot to argue about. They've got such a political system that there's always something going on, so they're always interacting, just like people and politicians. So there's always something they're trying to iron out. It's made worse by the fact that there have been no new babies here for a long time. A special research project has stopped the chimps from getting pregnant. The last baby chimp we had in the group was just over nine years ago. So it's been a long, long time. But now the ban has been lifted. It's very important that we start breeding again because baby chimps hold the group together. They unite the group. Without new arrivals to bring the group together, there are more reasons for them to argue. We need a baby. The group needs a baby to focus on and look after. And the signs are looking good. Zizi is pregnant. She'll give birth fairly soon as well. So that is brilliant news. At 24 years old, Zizi is an experienced mum and pretty popular. Zizi doesn't cause any problems particularly. Very pretty little chimp as well. She uh, just gets on with everything. But to make life more complicated, she's already got a teenager to deal with. Zizi's daughter, Tina, is a handful. Tina, and she's not a baby, but she's a right little madam. She's kind of a typical teenager, but she will push boundaries, and if she doesn't get her own way with stuff, then she's not shy in letting people know. If she wants something, bedding or whatever it might be, uh, and somebody else has it, she'll try and take it. And if the other one doesn't let her have it, she'll start screaming. <laughs> And then when she's screaming, that upsets the rest of the group and then you get a fight breaking out. And then she will try and steal it. She's a smart girl. She's like a spoiled brat. The hope now is that with a new baby, Tina will be less troublesome and the group will be happier all round. With baby chimps, everybody uh, looks after them, uh, keeps an eye on them, makes sure they're not coming into any harm. So hopefully the baby will calm things down. Keepers take a roll call. Patty, Rosie. It's Dylan. Yeah. But pregnant Zizi seems preoccupied with something. I just saw underneath her arms a tiny little foot. I was kind of looking and then saw a hand and saw a hand move and actually grip. And I thought, brilliant, that'll do. Zizi has given birth overnight. Amazing. They, they just aren't words. It's just fantastic. We've got a bit of a theme with the chimps of musicians and rock stars, so she's named after Stevie Nicks. <laughs> One of the highlights of being a keeper is seeing babies. It is absolutely wonderful. For nine years, I've been waiting for a baby, and now it's come. It's great, it really is. When chimp babies are first born, they're incredibly fragile, which is why it's so important for the whole group to be cohesive in order to give that little bundle the best chance possible. But Zizi doesn't get much quiet time with her baby. The rest of the group are very keen to meet the newborn. 
One of the problems with having a baby after such a long time is some of the females might get jealous. You sometimes get babies stolen by other females. One female in particular, 21-year-old Patty, is extremely interested. Patty has never had a baby of her own. She's never actually had the experience of holding a newborn herself. Obviously, ZZ wouldn't let the baby go. The baby could get seriously injured. So, just want everybody to uh, keep calm. But the lull doesn't last long. True to form, Tina, ZZ's older daughter, starts demanding attention. It's enough to start an argument between two of the males. And Zizi and her newborn are right in the thick of it. Zizi manages to get Stevie out of harm's way. But keepers are starting to fear for the baby's safety unless the group settles down soon. With the group being in a bit of turmoil, it's quite worrying, actually. It could go terribly wrong. Uh, the baby could get killed. 